Good evening, folks. Welcome to Beer Raid with Sean Connors. Beer Advent, day 16. Uh, so basically, same as the Advent calendar you had as a kid, but instead of the chalk behind every door, is a beer. So I'll get right to it. Um, before I do, for the Canadian viewers, I'm sure you're all aware, it's been on the news the last couple of days, there was a Canadian sailor went missing off his ship off the coast of San Diego. They've been looking for him for the last day or so. The search has been called off. Presumed dead, um, Master Seaman, or sorry, Master Sailor now, Dwayne Earl. I actually sailed with Dwayne in the mid, early, mid and early 90s. I uh, consider him a close friend, have been, not a close friend, sorry, a friend. Uh, we have been in touch in over 20 years, but with the Navy, it's a brotherhood, so I'd like to uh, dedicate this episode to uh, Dwayne Earl. All right, day 16. This is Jetty Ale. So Jetty, like in the uh, in the dock here, it's a little bit of a naval th theme, coincidental. As I'm dedicating this to a sailor who we've lost. All right, it says Jetty Ale, 2016 GABF Gold Medal winner, and the brewery is Great South Bay Brewing. It says, Jetty Ale is GSB's rendition of the perfect craft beer. Brewed year-round, this beer is light in body, but not in flavor. Reminiscent of American-style lager, yet, lager, yet brewed in a non-traditional cream ale fashion. Jetty is a unique blend of choice Pilsner, malt, noble German hops, flaked corn, and orange blossom honey. This blend gives it a whole new dimension, leading in a rich, smooth character. So grab yourself a cold metal Jetty. And savor its greatness. And the style of beer, they say American Cream Ale. They give a little bit about the color, the bitterness, the greens, the hops. Alcohol, 5.5% alcohol. So I'll zoom in so you can see the can before I pour it up. Just see if there's anything else there. Alright, so. See the can. G A B F gold medal for 19, 1916. So I assume that's the Great American Beer Festival. Just looking at the box there, that's what I figured. 12 fluid ounces. Here's the beer so far that have like a little bit of a nautical either theme or design on the can. Alright, so the cream ale style. And I haven't had a cream ale for a while, but I've always enjoyed a cream ale. As I said, it's been a while since I had one. A nice golden color. Fairly clear, a little bit of haziness there, but not much. A little bit of head, not a lot. like a little sweetness in the aroma. Uh, not a bad beer. I mean, nothing really jumping out of me. No lingering aftertaste. Pretty easy drinking. Um, as I said, beer, but not in flavor, reminiscent of an American style lager. It's an ale, but it's reminiscent of a lager, and I can definitely see that. Um, a blind taste test, I would almost think I was drinking a lager over an ale. Um, not a bad beer at all. Something kind of unique there. The mouthfeel, I wouldn't say creamy, but not not as non-creamy as a lot of other beers. So just something there, not bad. Um, 
not a beer, bad beer at all. Nothing there that jumps out out at me, good or bad, but it's it's definitely a decent beer. Um, to me, like it's like they said, reminiscent. Reminiscent. They said reminiscent of a lager. To me, it's I would. It makes me think it's more of a lager than an actual cream ale. I had, like I said, I haven't had a cream ale in a while, but I've always enjoyed them. But having that would not make me think I'm having a green ale, or sorry, a cream ale would make me think I'm having a, a lager, which isn't a bad thing either. Let me just read this again. Reminiscent, reminiscent, reminiscent of the perfect craft beer, brewed year-round, light in body, definitely, but not in flavor. It is flavorful, but I wouldn't say it's overly flavorful. Reminiscent of an American-style lager, yes, yet brewed in a non-traditional cream ale fashion. They have Pilsner malt, noble German hops, white corn, and orange blossom. Honey. Yeah, it's unique. It's, um, to me, it's unique in that, to me, it's more of a lager than a cream ale. Yeah, it's cream ale style. Hmm. Interesting. And with that being said, I think if you're a, a lager drinker or just a, a typical big brewery North American drinker, which are mostly lagers, and you want to expand your taste and you want to try some ales, I think this would be a good starter one. It's not a lot of, you know, ales and, some ales and lagers are so far apart, but these ones are definitely a lot of closeness to them. Um, to give it a rating, out of five, with one being a drain pour, two being, yeah, I'll finish it, Three is a good beer, four would be a very good beer, and five would be the best beer ever. I think this is a solid 3.5. So that's between good beer and very good beer, so there's nothing wrong with that. It's a decent reading. Um, I'd have no issues picking these up, and you know, if I was going to a party and I wanted to have a few beers, definitely pick it up again. If it was given to me, I'd definitely drink it. I'd want more than one, chances are. So 3.5, not a bad rating at all for the Great South Bay Breweries. Jetty Ale. There you go, folks. Hopefully you can join me tomorrow, day 17. We'll see what we have, what we have in the box. So once again, I just want to uh, dedicate this episode to Master Sailor, Sailor Dwayne Earl, Boss at Sea. Rest in peace, uh, Dwayne. We have the watch. Cheers.